S.E. Expo Bail Scandal Roxbury Police Station Photo The Commissioner of Police in Lagos State, Edgar Lamoimi, has ordered the gender unit of the command to investigate the allegation made by a widow, Mrs. Adbuko Lamoit, that an officer identified as EGI at the Alaje Police Station in the state demanded for sex from her before granting her bail. According to Mrs. Mowit, she was arrested on June 25 after she had a fight with a man. Narrating how she landed in the police station, the widow said she had gone to a kiosk close to a betting shop to tie her headgear and had dropped her phone on the chair so the person tying her galley could have easy access. After the headgear was tied, she couldn't find her phone. She said all the men at the betting shop said they did not take her phone. They said they did not see my phone and so, I had to go to the police to report, they were invited but at the end of the day, the investigating police officer, IPO, said I accused them wrongly and asked us to go. From the day, whenever I passed, they would be threatening me and making snide remarks. I never replied them. I even reported the matter to our Community Development Association, CDA. But on June 25th, my son came from Ikorodu and they stopped him on the road and threatened him as well. They said they would kill us if we did not leave the street for them. There was no way I would allow them threaten my son and so, I went out and confronted the particular area boy. He pushed me. I also pushed him back. We started fighting, people separated us and I left. The next thing, police came and arrested me that I have injured him and that he could not walk again. They took me to the station and locked me up inside the cell. I even asked EGI why I was the only one arrested, since it was two fighting but he said the complainant was in the hospital. That I have not seen anything yet. She said it was while in the police cell that EGI demanded sex from her, I told him I will not sleep with him even if he was the last man on earth. This got him angry and he started pouring water through those holes and said he would pour urine too. After some hours, he brought me out that I should come and write my statement. I told him I will not writing anything because I do not know what he wanted me to write. He then pressed my breasts and said is this what you are doing Shakara with? Do you know how many young and beautiful women I have slept with here? I will even be doing you a favor by sleeping with you. Since you have refused, you will go to prison. There, they will shave the hair in your private parts, your hair and lock you up for many years. The worst part was that a policewoman and another policeman were telling me to agree to sleep with EGI that it is a normal thing. I was so angry and disappointed at the same time, the woman called me Iowa EGI and said that if I should agree, they will just close the case and I will go home. But I stood my ground. How can I agree to sleep with him? For what? EGI said he's the only one that can help me that I should befriend him. I refused that never will I do such, he threatened to take me to court. He forced me to say my statement. I did not write it. I was just talking and he was writing. He did not let me see what he wrote. He asked the guy if he's ready to go to court but he said no that he wanted settlement and that I should pay N40,000 he used to treat himself. EGI now said I should pay the money or I will be sent to Kirikiri prison. Out of fear, I accepted to pay the money and they said I had to provide it that day. I told them I did not have it that day. I even went to beg the divisional police officer, DCO, but he shouted at me and said I should go and settle with EGI my IPO. After rallying round for some days to raise money and I could not, I went back to the police station and told EGI that I could not raise money. He said if I had agreed to cooperate with him, the matter would have been closed. That day was Friday and so, he gave me till Monday to provide the money, so, I went to my uncle for help and he gave me N5000, which I took to the station but EGI said it was not complete. I told him I could not raise more and he started harassing me and touching my breast. 
I knocked off his hands and he said I must bring the money the next day. He also threatened to kill me if I tell anyone what happened. I had to run to the palace for help because I did not know what to do again. I am happy I met you here. Please, I need help. The commissioner of police and government need to know what is happening. They need to investigate a larger police division. The matter is now being investigated.